Recovery efforts in Puerto Rico are still underway, more than six months after Hurricane Maria wreaked havoc on the island. And a group of students and teachers from Lincoln West School of Global Studies are there now lending a hand in the communities that need it most. Their service projects include creating a mural, building a bilingual library at an elementary school, and planting a garden at an orphanage. I spoke to them via Skype to hear about their volunteer efforts and how it feels to visit the devastated areas where some of their own families call home. Hi. The group was all smiles on Skype and they're spreading those smiles through the streets of Puerto Rico thanks to their mural. We designed it in the city market where they do the trading of the of the city of Juan Arias. So we created a mural, the people there were welcome. They were so happy they added color to the city. It's a beautiful, beautiful mural. People are actually taking pictures and tagging oh our school. God. We had done a lot of work, a lot of learning, and a lot of impact. The mayor even visited the group and admired the mural. Then they focused their efforts on building a bilingual library and bringing supplies to a local elementary school. We're taking school supplies, medical supplies first, you know, first essential supplies. Our kids, um, our kids were able to um, take the class with the students and practice both their Spanish and English today. Eat the school lunch, had an authentic experience of being a student in Puerto Rico. So the kids there absolutely loved our kids. They hugged them, they were excited. And um, so it was very important for us to have that connection. I think that every single kid here was impacted. It was awesome. It's a great experience for me. Like, I, let, I help a lot of kids. We give them some supplies from school, and they were really happy. It felt great. The kids loved it, and they they wished the best for us. When we left, they all said goodbye. They all waved. It's those moments that mean the most to some of the Lincoln West teachers who have personal connections to Puerto Rico, including family members who lost their homes during Hurricane Maria. To see all this, um, it just, it hurts our hearts, right? It, it touches home. And as soon as I got off the airplane, I started, I wanted to cry so bad. And even today when we were in the elementary school, when the kids were like, thank you so much for giving us all these resources. The teachers were like a million thanks. They kept saying thanks to us. They were so appreciative. And it just, it really touched our hearts that we're making an impact with all of our passion, all of our hard work, our sweat, everything that we went through at home to get to where we are at now and we helped is amazing. The city that we actually first visit, the city of Juan Arias, where I'm from. So as soon as I got there, I got very sentimental. Um, the teacher who made the connection from these elementary and for the orphanage it happens to be my aunt. But see, she actually warned me not to go to my home because she knew I was going to break down because I lost my home. My parents lost their home. Um, but it was it was very beautiful. Our city. Um, looks very colorful. I spoke to the mayor who was my mayor when I was a kid there. I'm getting emotional now, but I haven't got emotional. I'm not, I'm not a punk, I'm not gonna cry. But um, to, to see how my city got very colorful and to talk to them and tell them, this is where I'm from, this is where I, this, I see, I, things are different than when I was a little girl. But I see a unity. I see a unity before, and when I was a, a kid here, I never saw Puerto Rican flags anywhere. Now you see a Puerto Rican flag in every single home and every single restaurant. It's, it's a symbol of unity. It's a symbol of being proud of what they're, you know, what they're, they're going to get it together and they're yeah. working very hard. Um, solidarity. Is solidarity. Is huge here. Yes. It's so beautiful. I think our kids see Puerto Rico now as like, it's not as bad as we imagine, but it's really, really bad. It's like um, the essential, not having power, that is bad. The houses not having a roof bad. is very bad. Yes. Schools not having air conditioning. And I'm talking about these classrooms are 30 wow. kids per classroom. They have no power, They're no air conditioning. They're sweating. Days in, in schools are from 8 to 11 a.m. because the heat will kill them. Yeah. So um, seeing that it's a three hour, you know, how much education can you get in three hours every right. single day for the past six months? They don't get spring break because they have to make up for the hours. So for us, that's the hard part, that, that there's no way that no one else can fix that, but them just trying their hardest to come to school and right. do it. And parents are sending their kids to school every single day because it's a good breakfast, it's a good lunch there right. for them. It's a good source of food. Right. 
So it's very, it's a, it's very sad of what we've seen. But we see a Puerto Rico that's getting up. Yeah. When it's coming, when I'm talking about, it's bad conditions, but the people have a great heart and they're working really, really hard. And they're so supportive. They see us with our t-shirts and they stop us and ask yeah. us what we do. And they are very supportive of our kids. They hug our kids. Um, our kids took a chance to interview people that were walking back about Hurricane Maria. Um, they're learning so, absolutely so much. Between service projects, they're also visiting museums and the University of Puerto Rico. The group left on March 21st and returns home on March 28th. You can learn more about their service trip and find other stories like this by visiting the CMSD News Bureau website at clevelandmetroschools.org news. Reporting from the CMSD TV studio, I'm Shannon Kantner.